With everything that's going on right now, I figured now would be a good time for me to just make a video and hopefully distract myself from the crippling loneliness of being in a schmor and schmeen uh, because of the schmorona schmiris. And apparently you can't say those words, otherwise you'll get your video demonetized. But uh, I didn't want people to think I'm being insensitive by not acknowledging what's going on, but I also feel like now is like the perfect time to just provide some distraction for myself and provide some distraction for you guys and hopefully just can make you guys laugh and also pick up a cool new uh, whole food plant-based vegan lasagna recipe. Um, so that's what this video is all about. First things first, my head might be chopped off, but since I don't have a cameraman at the moment, I just got to deal with it. Uh, so first things first, I'm just going to chop up this onion with this uh, dicerizer that my mom got me and Kara for our birthday. Oh, it's really loud, but it's very easy and quick to chop things up. So that was half an onion that was chopped in like a second. And then there's also these peppers. Wow, that's, this is so fast. Wow, I this is like my first time using this actually. I. I just saved so much time. I'm probably gonna eat salad tomorrow. Okay, like I said, don't have a camera person, but I think you know what um, throwing diced uh, vegetables into a pan looks like. So I'm just sort of cooking those until the onions get a little translucent if I stir them around every couple minutes. But uh, right now, I am going to be working on the tofu ricotta. So I've been pressing this tofu in this really cool uh, tofu press, not sponsored by it, but it's by a company called Tofuture. Uh, it's really cool. It's very compact. Uh, as far as tofu presses go, and it kind of like stamps tofu right on there. Um, but uh, you just, I pressed it, you could probably get away with squeezing it because there is some liquid that's getting added to this ricotta recipe. Uh, and then you're just adding, so after, after that one pound of tofu, I'm just gonna squish down in here. Uh, there's also 12 ounces of silken tofu, uh, and that just is going to comprise the main ingredients of this ricotta recipe. If I can get the recipe up here, maybe I can find the rest. So uh, after that, you're gonna get to do two teaspoons of minced garlic, and you might as well do rounded teaspoons if you like garlic as much as my, me and my family do. Next is a quarter cup of nooch, and for, okay, it's just going everywhere. Yeah, I, got a, got a, I got about a quarter cup left in the bag, so let's just pour the rest of the bag in there. We're cooking, we're not baking, so. Uh, for those of you new to veganism, uh, nooch is nutritional yeast, which I, I don't know exactly what it is. It's something to do with brewer's yeast, um, some, some derivative of that or something. I know things. We got a half a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of parsley, and you could probably go a little over if you want. I mean, better go over than under the seasonings most of the time. And then it's just one tablespoon of both garlic, or no, not garlic, um, uh, oregano and basil. And we've got a quarter cup of lemon juice and a quarter cup of soy milk. You could probably use unsweetened, but I don't have any. So, and I've done this before, and it didn't taste like it was like a sweet lasagna, so it's fine. Plus, it's only a quarter cup. I don't know how many grams of sugar in that, but um, very few grams of sugar. So let's check on the peppers and onions. Those are coming along nicely, and then you just uh, process this. I like to take a spatula, just get all the seasonings and stuff off the side, mix it back in, just to make sure I can get all the seasonings. This is basically the finished product. Okay, well I got a little thing of tofu up top, but uh, this is what it looks like. And this is the main part of the recipe. Other than that, it's literally just layering things onto a lasagna pan. And I'm just cooking up the spinach over here. It said to cook about uh, one to two pounds of spinach, but I found that even just like, I don't know, this was what, I think an 11 ounce box. Uh, so maybe eight ounces or so in here. Um, and I feel like that's actually pretty good. Plus I'm adding in peppers and onions. I think uh, zucchini, yellow squash would probably be really good. Uh, maybe you could squeeze in some broccoli, I don't know, whatever you want to do. But uh, this recipe is from Forks Over Knives, so you know it's healthy. Uh, but I'm sure that they would be okay with you adding in as many vegetables as your heart desires. Right. I have scooped out the ricotta cheese and now I'm just going to try to, as carefully as I can, mix in the vegetables in here so that they are very evenly dispersed throughout the zanya. For those of you who may be new to my channel, my channel is very much like, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm an idiot in the kitchen and I barely ever cook. I basically uh, subsist on oatmeal, spaghetti, rice, beans, and vegetables. 
and I really don't cook. But I actually found this recipe to be shockingly simple. So that's why I kind of why I wanted to make this recipe. Um, it tastes really good. It's pretty healthy. Uh, and it's really easy to make. That might be a little too much sauce. Whoops! You know what? There's no such thing as uh, too much sauce for this recipe because you kind of do want the noodles to be in a pretty wet sort of solution environment. I, I don't know. Um, cooking term. Um, but you do want them to be pretty wet because I'm not using um, just, just barely don't fit and these are way too small so I'm just gonna end up breaking these. Um, but you do kind of want them to be pretty wet in here because they are not pre-cooked noodles. So if you cook them for an hour at 350 degrees, which is exactly what we're gonna do, uh, as long as there's enough sauce going around, they should have no problem cooking. I've made this recipe one time before, so I'm clearly an expert, um, but that's what I found the one time that I made this recipe. Okay, so we got the sauce, we got the first layer of zanya, and then we're just going to put on a bunch of dollops of this cheese sauce type thing, as well as the vegetables. Okay, another layer of cheese down, so now we got another layer of sauce going down. And another layer of nudes. And then you can make a whole layer of all these broken up noodles. And if you got like some little itty bitty pieces, you can sort of fit them into the corners, whatever spots that don't exactly have a whole lot of nudes, and just fill her up. As you can see, even with lasagna, which I've, I've never made lasagna before trying this recipe, I never really wanted to make it because I always thought it just seemed really difficult. But now that I've made this, it's not at all. Another layer of cheese, tofu cheese. You guessed it, more noodles. Uh, and if you can probably tell from how brown these are, these are whole wheat noodles. So I guess the only bad guy in this recipe is the oil from the tomato sauce, which is not really that much. Um, I mean, you could use uh, your own homemade tomato sauce, I guess, and not have any, or maybe somehow you could find some oil-free uh, tomato sauce in a store. Good luck with that. I've never found that though. And now I'm just scooping off all the last of the cheese and I'm just, I guess, sort of gonna make a cheesy, saucy top and then I'm going to sprinkle on some vegan Parmesan cheese that I made from cashews and nutritional yeast, which I can link a recipe down below. I've made a recipe video of that before, but it's really easy. If you haven't figured it out yet, I love very easy recipes. I don't really like to put in that much effort in the kitchen or that much time really. Oh, that was almost exactly one jar of tomato sauce and exactly how much cheese we had. And like I said, this is a vegan Parmesan cheese that I've made. It's from cashews, nutritional yeast, uh, a little bit of garlic powder, and salt. And I'm just going to spread this very liberally on here because there's really no such thing as too much Parmesan cheese. It says in the recipe, after you're done making the lasagna, put parchment paper on top of the lasagna followed by aluminum foil. I think because you're supposed to cover it with aluminum foil and the makers of forks over knives know that aluminum foil is linked to Alzheimer's, so they probably just don't want the aluminum foil touching your food, that's my guess. Uh, but that's just what the recipe says. I tried it once and it came out great, so that's just what I recommend as well. And then we're gonna stick this in here for one hour on 350 degrees. I already had this preheated uh, while I was making the ricotta cheese and we will come back to that in one hour and now is everybody's favorite part cleaning up the kitchen this is why I cook I I love to clean I love to clean up messes this is this is the best part that was actually a very productive hour I got the dishes done I got cleaned and I took a shower and now the lasagna is ready. Because you guys a closer look before I rewrap this back up and bring it over to Hercules. That looks good. So I'm gonna let that cool down before I wrap it up so I don't burn my hands right off my body. Uh, but in the meantime I thought I'd tell you guys about something very exciting. 
I've been working on an ebook for a very long time and I'm finally done with it. And the best news is it's absolutely free. I'm just gonna have it in a Google Docs uh, at the bottom of my videos uh, from now on. Uh, and it's just a how to go vegan, like how to handle certain social situations, how to read a food label, how, just how to. Um, and one really important thing about my book is I try to make it as easy to digest as possible. I just try to make it as short as possible so that you can just start like today with being vegan. Uh, I don't want to, I didn't want to make it like super long and daunting. So you're like, oh, when am I going to find the time to read that? So it's only 13 pages and it's just kind of to get the ball rolling. Uh, it's definitely not everything you will ever learn about being vegan, uh, but it is a really good place, I think, uh, for you to start. And I would definitely recommend that if you're on the fence about being vegan. I think this is a really good guide. So I definitely recommend checking that out down in the description. Like I said, it's absolutely free. I don't want to um, have anyone who is contemplating going vegan. I don't want money to get in the way of that. So it's absolutely free. If you want to send me a super chat as a thank you and like a live stream, that's great. Or you could just sit through my ads and my videos. That would also pay me and I, I would really appreciate that too. So uh, with that said, I'm going to go to Hercules to surprise my family and uh, the employees at Hercules with some vegan lasagna. I come bearing gifts. Well, a gift. If you guys want to inspect it. We do. It feels like food. And man, I feel like a woman. Yeah? A hungry woman. I'm definitely hungry. Hungry what? Hungry, hungry Craig. Sam, do you want to come over and okay. take a whiff before we uh, unravel it? not mac it? and cheese. Oh, you prepared food? <laughs> Yeah. I thought you went yes. to the grocery store. No spoilers, Kara. But what is it? No, I know, but just by looking at the shape, I feel like you might be able to get it. Well, that's how I will get up there. <laughs> yeah, it's not mac and cheese. Lasagna? Yeah. Lasagna? Yeah. Mm. Are you that good? Mom's face. Like, Are you that good? <laughs> it's lasagna. I was going to say a roast of some sort. Did you make it? Yeah. Yummy. Ooh, a big thing of lasagna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we know how you can eat. Is it healthy lasagna? It actually yes. is. Um, so the cheese is, the top cheese is just uh, nutritional mm. yeast, cashews, garlic and salt. Mm -hmm. uh, the cheese on the inside is just tofu and silken tofu, nutritional yeast, and some spices. Uh, there's no mock meat, because I know you and dad are trying not yeah, to do any mock meat. And there's just some spinach, peppers, and onions in there with whole wheat noodles. So you can eat as much as you want. And you don't have I to like feel bad about things it. That, well, I generally don't feel bad when I eat as much as I want, but I, I just mean, like of to, healthy things. Yes, I just I, like, like I said, I know you guys are trying to. I'm eat just, uh, I was just eating some potatoes and carrots. Mm -hmm. It's kind of boring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, this is probably, hopefully, less boring. Yeah, I will um, dig in and let you know. You had good. That's why you called Ness when we were, mm -hmm. You got me good. Mm -hmm. You got me, and I like it. <laughs> I like it when you get me like that. Wow. So I think we're probably going to have to do all the taste tests separately because not everyone can be okay. ready at the same time. I waited. Mm -hmm. Just like, you know, like, like it was birthday cake. Oh, you didn't even try any yet? No, oh, I did okay. not. I was trying to be good, but who needs that? Not awful. It's way better than not awful. Does it taste healthy? No. It does? <laughs> it tastes really good. Yeah. You done nailed it. Thanks, dude. And this is what it takes to get me into the break room. Sit down. Yeah. When was the last time you... Well, uh, we have a video of you, I think, last... Your birthday? For my birthday last mm -hmm. year. Is that, like, the last time? And then I think for open house, I might have had some pizza back here with somebody. Yeah. But, yeah, this is really good. Where can I get the recipe? Uh, Forkshortmanize.com. Uh, yeah, so you I know it's healthy. It might even be in the cookbook I already have from them. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, it probably is. Right, well, Dad couldn't wait. I was thinking of that. <laughs> I told him to wait till Max gets back here, but uh, mm -hmm. how is it? Awesome. It yeah. It's great. <laughs> All right, well, I'll, I'll get some descriptions from Max. Because yeah, Mom's it's like, it's good. And Dad's like, it's great. It's literally, <laughs> that's like the Adriatis <laughs> classic right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's good. Yeah. yeah. I, I it think, is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I don't think it's bad, no, because I, I had some. Um, I think I probably could have used a little bit more tomato sauce, and some of the noodles that weren't completely covered were a little bit crunchy. Okay, go try it again. Well, <laughs> yeah. other than that, okay, like, yeah, so, like, as long, yeah, as, you're making, yeah, as long as you make sure that all of them are submerged in the sauce, then 
Well, but then you kind of make another one uh, next week or something. Yeah. <laughs> or this week. No, this week. Or this week. <laughs> Wait, do you guys want me to try any different recipes? Yeah, just like this. a lasagna recipe. <laughs> a different lasagna <laughs> recipe. <laughs> or the same one. I'll just turn it into a lasagna channel. Yeah. I would watch it. <laughs> Alright, here goes nothing. Uh oh. Pressure's on. <laughs> it's awful. You would think I've never eaten before, you know? I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I just clarify Max is not mm. vegan. 100% not vegan. <laughs> the extra veggies are throwing me off a little bit, mm -hmm. but it's really good. Yeah. Like, all right, let me let me not say the same exact thing <laughs> as everybody else. Mm. The noodles are cooked really well. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't get any of the crunchy pieces or anything. They're cooked perfect. I think you got like a nice ratio of like whatever that is. I know it's not manic or um. Yeah, so it's actually mostly just tofu. It's, oh, uh, really? It's, yeah, so it's normal, like, extra firm tofu, silken tofu, nutritional yeast, and just spices, pretty much. I think you did a great job with the ratio of that and the blend, because, like, it tastes like, like ricotta. You yeah. know, it's got, like, that little... I don't want to call it, like, granular, but mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's got, like, that little... Yeah, I think probably from the, to the uh, texture. extra firm tofu is probably got that. But it's... Do you agree? Creamy. That's a nice... <laughs> That's a spicy lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I agree. I like the yeah. well, what he said. <laughs> I like the onions there too. Cause yeah, like a little like mm -hmm. little burst. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, when we just made it, because we made it the other day. I didn't tell Kara that I was planning on making a video, so it was I a knew surprise. you were talking about it. Yeah, yeah we were talking about it, uh, but I didn't mention that's gonna be in the video because um, I did want it to be a surprise. Because um, whenever I say in videos that I'm surprising people with food, I'm actually surprising them with food. Like you guys don't see it coming. Yeah, like, what lasagna? <laughs> Come over here. Why? <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I'll uh, let you guys eat in peace, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video of me surprising my family and friends with lasagna. And uh, Feel free to do it again, man. I'm yeah. just saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As many times as you want. Yeah. Um, and then check out the ebook that I was talking about. And uh, I hope you stay busy during this uh, schmorenschmeen for the <laughs> schmorona schmiris. You can't say those words, or they get uh, you get demonetized. Oh uh, really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a weird message to send. Yeah, but we'll thanks a lot, YouTube. Same time next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>